right, guys, I'm sorry I have not recorded and posted in, like, over three months, but I just kind of took some time off for my own personal time, and I really had nothing to film about. So today we're going to be doing a restoration on an axe head that I found out a pile of scrap. I clean, I semi-cleaned off my workbench just for this video, so be appreciative. So I'm going to show you what's going on out in the shop. Alright guys, being the lazy person I am, I have not filmed this until it's obviously dark outside. As you can see, I have some batteries over here, some weldable plate steel. Might be getting a welder in the future. But I've been collecting for a little while. Um, I'm still midway tear down in this AC unit. I got some copper here, aluminum, really dirty copper. I just have a lot of stuff I need to bring in. The yard that I normally use, their hours have changed. I have a whole bunch of number three. That bring that would probably haul in a good 30 bucks. Just, it's 35 cents a pound for all this crap that I don't want to strip out, so it's pretty easy. Uh, a little bit of steel over here. Aluminum cans. Dirty brass, electric motors, sealed unit. There's probably a good hundred or so dollars down here. Or I'm just, I just need to get to it. I don't know if y'all have seen some other videos, but I got a cart. Hold all my crap on. Just, stuff is piling up down here. I really do need to make a run. I got a steal on this copper. The price was free, that's at least a good 45 pound spool right there. So, hey, when you get stuff for free, take it, alright? That's one of the things that I've known. Look, electric box right here, cooling motor. Really good cast iron steel, I just need to take the motor off of that. Transformer. I'm moving all this crap around now. So I'm going to with that. Let's go back on side and get back on track. I just now realized I cannot use a clamp on my other bench, so I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to find some better lighting for y'all in just a moment. Is that better for y'all? I took the lights out of my regular shop and put them in here. So let's get rolling with it. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to want to do with this thing is I'm just going to get some of the surface rust off of it. Clamp it down to the table, put a grinding wheel if I'm correct. No, a wire wheel on it, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to put a wire wheel on this thing and just go to town. So, that thing looks like it's clamped down pretty good. Let me get the wheel and the grinder and let's go. Alright guys, I'm not going to do the grinder, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out with this. I'll flip it over and do the exact same thing. I'm breathing in a crap ton of this rust. And I cannot find any respirator anywhere. So I think I'm just going to use my shirt because it's better than nothing.
gonna see if I can find any more wire wheels. All right, I got the wire wheel on my grinder. And it appears that my cord is a little bit too short. All right, got an extension put on there. Now let's go. Right now I'm uh grind this end. vibration with the vibrations on that thing it is making my hands literally pulse and it actually hurts that this actually makes my hands hurt because this is just one of the cheaper ones you can buy from Harbor Freight so it's not balanced the best so it's just it's just hard to hold it so I'm gonna finish this side off and this end with the wire wheel on the drill and then I'm going to get to the other side. Hopefully knock the wood out of the center tonight. If I don't, that'll be in part two. This is only part one. Looks like my clamps are falling off, and it's getting a little bit late for me. I, if I knock the wood out off camera, that I'm a, I'm a, I will attempt that tonight. But if I do get it, I will show it to you very quickly. The one thing I did notice when I was grinding on it, there is a little S right there. I don't know what that's for. If you all know what that is. Please comment it because I would like to know more about this. You know, guys, I've tried multiple different methods on getting this wood out. I think I might just end up well burning it because there is nothing that I've tried that has worked so far. So, some other day I will probably do an update, an update on a part two. Maybe a new handle for it. I don't know. But surprisingly, this blade is probably still good enough to cut wood. Surprisingly. So, I will guess... I mean, I guess I'll see you all in the next one.